Так, ну что же, шаманы стоят, мы готовы. Так, ладно, я понял, у меня может дверям уже идти. Или ч ч он там? Ладно, возможно, мне их надо а, от, отключить. так да нихуя блин это наш. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. Your destiny, maybe the fate of the entire galaxy, could be forever changed inside that temple. I'm not about to let you face that alone. Not after my premonition. There's a reason I had that vision. Jolly speaks for both of us. You must enter the temple, but we must go with you. So you just tell that guide of yours to do whatever he has to do to get us all inside the temple. I don't know what he said. But it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. какую-то колючку блять создали оба 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 не lord malak the preparations are nearly complete every day the star forge adds more ships to our fleet it is operating at nearly 300 of our projections the fleet is assembling around the star forge and awaits your instructions patience commander my new apprentice is nearly ready 
Once Bastiona joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. Нихуя, мы кто-то челюсть блять снес. Наверное, реван, когда они дрались. Наверное, отхуячил меня. Так, путей-то у нас здесь много, да? Все три года вы тут питались ты мне скажи просто ты должен был умереть бомбами что ли гранатами блять или кредитами да господи Да блять, серьезно. Да ч с тобой, сука, не так, блядь, не песишь на. Там что, блядь, невидимая припет. Уйди нахуй тогда, ты ч, блядь? Заебал, блядь. Чем дальше, тем она корявее какой-то становится. Все корявее и корявее, блядь. Здрасте. Yes. Sure. Who dares intrude on our meditations? You know the penalty for Riven. You are back.
I like the Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly. Here. Да ты, ты охуела! Блять. <смех> да какая, блядь, зеленая? Yeah. 
по-разному, да? Didn't work. Придурок, ёбаный. Так. А, Все храним. Угу. Кристалл. Сейчас вернемся наверх. Потому что там тоже строились комнаты. Компьютер. Второе. Не. Так его убьем. Третье. Так их убьем. Четвертое. Тоже так их можно убить. Пятое. Угу. Что? Угу. Седьмое. А еще восьмое и девятое, да?
стрели можно включить. Так, сейчас мы по низу еще пройдемся, а потом сюда вернемся. Здесь тоже стреком то есть. То же самое, да? вещей вообще Скоро и с моему чоку подожду.
Так, может, дадите мне выйти отсюда. Странно. Все это охуеть как странно. Чем-то защита. Так, может. Что... Четыре. Пять. Так, а где выход? А, вот же дверь, точно. Точно, точно, точно. Я уже забыл про нее. Yes. Yes. <coughs> yes. Sure. Дроиды не страшны, так как я. Ради бога. Загадка, да? Наверное. Так. Да, блядь!
Да, блять, хватит мне это показывать постоянно. Да, блядь, наконец-то. Как дебил, блядь, бегал. Mickey Grabble Mogo. 
Kachicho i Takaudonga. Tompa të bongua një gando dhe nago qëqë. Moga shakonka, bola wana qëkne. Pa mulis limo por arawa tonë hajguam qiki ju ma litha ak inko tu. Tolpa të bongua një gando dhe nago qëqë. Kachicho i Takaudonga. Ju ma litha inko tu. Gjelo moral. Ta. Qëshë. Ka qicho i ta hotonga, jim ki nku no ba bulira qikun. Sle mo putona, ronde ha hotonga ku honga bi, ta konjo staki. Ah! Ton hai wang qiki yuma li tsak ak inko tu. Ton pëta bon gwal ya gando de na ga chocho, ka qicho i ta hotonga, yuma li ta inko tu. Gjelo moral, bëni bobo. Wango ku mbis kanë ba, ta kom gjostak miki grabër mogo. Ka qicho i ta haudonga. Ton pa të bon gwal ja gando dhe nago qëqë. Moga shaponka, bola wana qëpne. Pa muris limo, por ala wanga ku. Ton hai wam qiki ju ma litha ak inko tu. Ton pa të bon gwal ja gando dhe nago qëqë. Ka qicho i ta haudonga, ju ma lita inko tu, gjelo moral për një bobo. Wango ku mbis kanë ba, ta ku të stak miki grabër mogo. Ka qicho i ta haudonga, ton pa të bon gual ja gando dhe nago qëqë. Moga shaponka, bola wana qëkne. Pa muris limo por ala wanga ku në ton hai wam qiki ju ma lita ak inko tu. Ton pa të bon gual ja gando dhe nago qëqë, ka qicho i ta haudonga. Juma lita inko tu. Kak të gjithë të apë? Të ku. Rondi hao donga ku honga bi, wala kumbes, qenë pala moli ton kenë pa no konke. Tuk nim të arqo kum, ne moli dhe bes, ton hai wam qiki juma lita ak inko tu. Ton për da bon gual ja gando dhe na ve qoqo, ka qicho i të hao donga. Juma lita inko tu. Gjelo moral, bë një bobo. Wango kumbis kanë pa, Molera, ta kom gjostak miki grabër mogo. Ka qicho i ta haudonga. Ton pa të bon gual ja gando dhe nago qëqë. Moga shaponka, bola wana qëkne. Pa mulis limo por ala wanga ku mbis Molera bes. Ton hai wam qiki ju ma litha ak inko tru. Ton pa da bon gual ja gando dhe nago qëqë. Ka qicho i ta haudonga. Ju ma litha inko tru. Gjelo moral, bë një bobo. Wango ku mbis kanë ba, molera, ta kom gjostak miki grabër mogo. Ka qicho i ta haudonga. Ton pa të bon gual ja gando dhe nago qëqë. Moga shaponka, bola wana qëkne. Pa mulis limo por ala wanga ku mbis molera bes. Ka qicho i ta haudonga. Jim ki nku no ba bulira qikon. Sle mo putona, ronde haudonga ku honga bi. Ton hai wam qiki ju ma litha ak inko tu. Ton për da bon gual ja gando dhe na ve qoqo. Ka qicho i ta haudonga. Ju ma litha inko tu. Gjelo moral bë një bobo. Wango ku mbis kanë ba, molera. Tak, no shqo të da ja pajdu. Ju i të në të një jetë. Po të jam aka uoma po kak me. A shu aktu e on, u me pa toga. Shqo dhe? Сейчас пойдем я наверх. А, я здесь брал? Нет. Пропустил, прикинь. Так, теперь там дверь открыта или как вообще? А 
океан. Это что это там? Море, океан. Я думаю, это океан. Постой, как как мне? А, лам. Издеваешься, что ли? Что за хуйня? Открыл ворота. Блять, ты ты пикотня, где ты там, Джоли, сука? Съебали нахуй, вот серьезно. Ну, блядь. Да блять ты сука. Пиким. Вот обязательно этот диалог был. Нет бы раз сразу изменил бы все. Нет, я должен был об этом поговорить с ним. да огромная карта да по-любому девайс о о о о ты посмотри кто там Я 
Yes. Да, блядь, силу не могу. Все. Это бастила. Бастила, ты чё, блядь? Ревен, я знал, что ты пришел ко мне. Малик думал, что ты мог бы опасаться войти в темпл снова. Но он не знает, что ты как я. Не больше. Не больше, чем ты поменялся. Быстро. Бастила, приходи с нами. Мы должны уйти, прежде чем Малик приходит. Уйти? Ты не понимаешь. Я сказал аллегианс к лорду Малик и Сит. Я не больше пауна в Джедай Кансел. Surely you know what I mean, Raven. Look at what the Council did to you. They turned you into their puppet. The same thing they do to all who are truly strong in the Force. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. Oh, как ты могла нас так предать, Бастил? Еще не поздно, Бастил, а ты все еще можешь отвергнуть темную сторону. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call him master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Ah. Mm, just Lies. Prepared, eh? You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, master of the Sith. But no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve, like I was, until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even, but that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. Ой. И вот, вот все эти мои, блядь. Сука. Бастила, пидорасина. Я разъебашен, я нахуй даю. Серьезно, еду дали пизды. He was stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malik was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan.
You can deny what you are, Evan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I've seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. <laughs> These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who followed the Jedi Code, but in our shared visions of the star maps. I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Dark. Bessila, it is not too late for you to be saved. <laughs> The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. Dark. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. О, мне осталось только с двумя, да? Джоли. Bad, bad men. Women too, to be fit. Oh, indeed. They make a fine sandwich also. <laughs> but don't tell the Jedi Council I said that. Oh, 
And just what gave you the impression that I know anything more about the Sith than you do? Oh, that's right. Damn the years of a young one. I was expecting you to be your usual inattentive self when I mentioned that. So it's true, yes. I fought plenty of Sith. That was during the time of Exar Kuhn. Oh, 40 years ago now. Has it been that long? No, no, of course not. The Sith have come and gone for ages. They were not called the Sith many thousands of years ago, perhaps. But the dark side was always present, without a doubt. Oh, sure, occasionally the light side comes close to vanquishing the dark. But the dark always returns. The fact that Exar Kun was defeated didn't mean the Sith would never return, as they obviously have now. Everyone knows that. Exakun, exak. Вот этот перевод то, блять, одно то другое. Ебали. Who was corrupted by ghosts of the old Sith, or so they say. He attempted to conquer the Republic and create a new golden age of the Sith. Better to say he was defeated, but essentially, yes. The victory did not come easily, however. No, no, of course not. The Sith, oh, sh the fact. That is not a pleasant time to remember. After Exar Kun fell to the dark side, he attempted to recruit other Jedi to his cause. What surprised us, what took us completely unprepared, was how utterly successful he was. Many Jedi joined him and became Sith themselves. Why they did, I... I will never truly know, but they did. Battle broke out throughout the Order, pupil against the Master. We fought ourselves. Yes, more than difficult. Next to impossible. How do you fight against someone you love? <laughs> I dislike such memories. It leaves a taste in the mouth that... Uh, it is a sadness I thought I had put aside long ago. Ask me about the war some other time, just not now. I would prefer to be by myself for now. Ну вот. Мы так по я так понял, он ему пришлось драться со своей женой. Ну так кто она там? Так. Надо сходить,
Kuli ra ki kon. Se mo kuto na. Ronde hao dong. Ronde hao dong ga kuko. Так. На тебе. Но это я так и не выполню, это потому что, блядь, это полный бред вообще. Я же не знал, что тут будет такой поворот. Если бы хотя бы помнил о таком повороте необычном. Так, теперь мне что надо? А мне наверное, сейчас надо просто на черный ястреб. Да? Да. Думаю, да. Да вы, блядь, заебали, вы партийцы, где вы там? Вечно там ворон считаете. Долгий путь это все. Бежать, Dark side? The Astala? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the Dark Side Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith.
Malik has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for him, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Bastila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt, but let's go! something on your mind, do you? Not particularly. I suppose you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't you? Nothing is private anymore, it looks like. Uh, there's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Niyama. She was the Yukatis enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if you remember. My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the force. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Niyama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery. Determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that body. Well, yes, that... <clears throat> Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. But, uh, that's another story entirely. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another, especially not one so old as my wife.
I did. I wasn't the first and I won't be the last. The problem with self-righteous folk is they think they're more right than everyone else. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. And she loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. Exar Kun is what happened. Niyama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi, to join her in Exar's war. I hadn't thought so, not right then. I was too proud to believe that of her. I had trained her myself. I loved her. I pleaded with her to reconsider, to think about all that she was throwing away, to think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master, in my case, it was a long and terrible battle, but I defeated her. No, no, I had her at my mercy, disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me, and I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death, inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. I had trained Nayama against their wishes. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with a trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? But I deserve to be tried. They found me innocent. Even though I deserved every punishment and more, they let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they said. 
They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. For my pride? For my cowardice? Which do you think is the act more befitting the Jedi? They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. I... yes. I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, it is all so long ago. Lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. Yeah, what do you want? This world is... ...a battlefield, but the environment here is lush and green. Whatever happened here was a long time ago. I have seen many strange worlds in my time, but this world is stranger still. I don't like this place. Something happened, or is happening here, and I don't like it. We should get out of here as soon as possible. You have anything else you want to ask? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Yes, what's on your mind? You get... What's in your mind? I don't know. You got it. Got something on your mind? Oh, I... How may I be of assistance to you? Of course.
Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. The Republic fleet must have gotten a message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is Admiral Fawn Dodonna to the Avon Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Karth Anassi. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it. But that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? We will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. Thank you. 
Yes, what's on your mind? You got... Got something on your mind? Oh, that was not until many years later to tell the truth. I spent quite some time wandering the galaxy. Why wouldn't they? I had refused my promotion to Jedi. I was a Padawan who had left the Order, nothing more. I traveled from one civilized system to the next, never staying long. I don't even think I knew what I was searching for. It wasn't as if my travels were pleasant either. There were plenty of folks who distrusted the Jedi after the war, or worse. If people were treating me with suspicion, they were looking at me with greed. I don't know how many thought they could make use of me for their own ends. I got so sick of the treachery and deceit. I left the civilized parts of the galaxy and headed instead for the uncivilized parts. Actually, I was on I landed on Kashik. The ship I was using. Getting some damage passing through an unexpected asteroid field, as I recall. But I wasn't completely without some systems. I could still guide her a bit when I crashed. It wasn't what I would call the smoothest landing, especially considering I ended up smack in the depths of the Shadowlands. But I lived. I'm no mechanic, and besides, after you plunge nose first in the trunk of a five kilometer high tree, chances are you don't have much ship left. I'd taken some damage passing through an unexpected asteroid field, as I recall, but I wasn't completely without some systems. I could still guide her a bit when I crashed. It wasn't what I would call the smoothest landing, especially considering I ended up smack in the depths of the Shadowlands, but I lived.
Well, why not? It seemed like an interesting enough place to spend a couple of decades exploring. <clears throat> that was a challenge at first. You've seen the kind of creatures that exist down there, and you miss the really big ones. I was still able to rely on the Force to keep me safe for the most part. The rest of the trick is keeping out of the way of most of the predators. No, oh, that's true. Still, most of the creatures grew accustomed to me, and I to them. At least none of them ever heard of a Jedi. they did at first, oh yes. I can't say I was overly pleased to encounter a group of indigenous giant carpets either, I can assure you of that. I was the intruder in their land, after all. They got to trust me well enough after a couple of decades of my aid. When I could, I would assist a few young ones who would get lost in the Shadowlands or attacked unexpectedly by the wildlife. I must say, for a while there, the Wookiees actually thought I was some kind of benevolent forest god. Amusing, really. I set them straight eventually. At first, when the slavers took to hunting down lone Wookiees in the fringes of the Shadowlands, I did my best to divert them. Later, when Shundar made his deal, I didn't see any point. I wasn't here to save them from their own sad follies, after all. Not really. Kashyyyk is a place you can feel very small in. It felt good to devote my time to helping people and living simply. What can I say? I did it all for the Wookiees. The Wookiees? Well, okay, maybe I needed some time on a quiet and remote planet, but if you ever need a friend, an incredibly strong hairball isn't a bad call.
I suppose I am, in a way, despite the smell. For a race of gardeners, they've developed quite interestingly. You remember the alien computer, correct? Kashik was meant to be an agricultural planet. The Wookiees were made for a reason, or at least that's what I'm thinking. But I'm an old man who's had a long time to develop that opinion, so don't argue with me. At any rate, we should be moving along, don't you think? If you sat around this long in the Shadowlands, attack would eat you. Got something on you. Oh, I... You made it. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they... Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Star Forge and find Bastila. Hurry! Thank you. 